As the countdown begins to the 21st century, it's good to know there is still one number you can always count on. Bond. Bond. Can't you just say hello like a normal person? The World Is Not Enough was released in 1999 and made the connection to On Her Majesty's Secret Service where we first see Sir Thomas Bond's family motto on the Bond family's coat of arms. non suffit Orbis. The World Is Not Enough. And this became the title of Brosnan's third Bond movie. Originally the movie was to be released in the new millennium with the title Bond 2000. But this the ID was scrapped. This is the last movie where we see Desmond Llewellyn as Q. In this movie, we see Q training his replacement. Llewellyn died in a car crash shortly after the film premiered. The replacement is played by John Cleese, who I think is very good in his part. He also despises everything Bond stands for, and the fact that Bond never brings any of his equipment back. The film is written by Neil Purvis and Robert Wade that reused a lot of the plot from the script that would have been Dalton's third movie. This is also the last movie where we see the BMW as the Bond car. BMW only had a three movie contract with Eon Productions and when it was time for the next movie they were outbidded by Aston Martin. The plot in short is that Bond retrieves a sum of money from a Swiss banker and the money is used to kill off M's dear friend, Sir Robert King. The money was to be used as a ransom for his daughter Electra, played by Sophie Morceau. Okay, we start out here with my poster for The World Is Not Enough, my Swedish poster. Sorry for the glance. And now we will go into the dungeon. We can start over here uh, with my action man figure from The World Is Not Enough. I have the whole series and the action man figure series, but I don't think I've showed them in my videos before. Not a very good likeness though. We will go over here in this corner <clears throat> and I have a standee from Mr. Pierce Brosnan. In real size so if I want to hang out with him uh, on a Friday night I can do that here he is in all his glory with his smoking and his all the p99 and his Omega watch very nice cufflinks by the way now we have some uh, vehicles so we have this the Parahawk from the Bond car collection and we have the BMW Z8 also from the Bond car collection with its Stinger missiles and all and the saw in the background that will cut the nice car in half and then we have Bond in the Q-boat the Q-boat chase and this is uh, Q-show's version of the Q-boat this is the 172 and I think this is a 143. If I do like this, you can see how small the, the Q-boat is. Very gorgeous version of the BM, BMW Z8. Not as nice as this one, I think. And then I have this very nice Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow. And the world is not enough. Uh, Valentin Sukovsky's car. I will take this down because I had Robbie Coltrane signed it. All the best, Robbie Coltrane. And uh, since he's dead now, he won't be signing any more autographs, so this is quite rare. Okay, let's go over here to my little cabinet. Uh, we will start with the figure. This is a unopened uh, sideshow legacy collection. 
with Bond in his grey suit, the suit that you can see him wear in the movie. And this I had uh, Pierce Brosnan sign. Pierce Brosnan is very interesting when he signs things because his autograph has changed over the years. This is how it looked in 2020. And I know this is real because I was there when he signed this one. And then I have a SIS uh, ID card in the background. I also have Sir Robert King's business card. And I have this a memorial service for Sir Robert King. Uh, when, uh, when you go to the funeral, funeral, you can see this in the movie. M holds uh, this pamphlet in his hand, in her hand. And if you open it, you can see the memorial of Sir Robert King and the song Amazing Grace and a nice picture of Sir Robert. And then on the back also, the King family crest, Sir Robert and the place to be King family chapel at 3 p.m. And over here you can see Renard's and Bond's ID card uh, from the movie in Russian. Uh, this is the first time uh, Bond meets Christmas Jones and also the first time he gets eye to eye with and face or face to face with um, Renard. In the beginning of the movie, Bond is in Bilbao, Spain. Uh, sorry, it's not in Bilbao, Spain. Um, but I have this plane ticket uh, when he meets the Swiss banker. Maybe that is Bilbao, Spain. Uh, this is from Gatwick to Bilbao, in any, anyhow. And I think that's from the beginning of the movie. And then we will go over here. Korg icons. Valentin Sokovsky. Elektra. And Bond. And if you can see in this, this figurine, he has that card that I just showed you. We have Valentin Sokovsky's business card, the caviar, uh, his caviar uh, uh, import business. And this was the first <coughs> prop I bought. Um, I have a COA from Eon Productions on this one. This is screen used in the film. Uh, this is a caviar jaw uh, that um, is in Valentin Sokovsky's warehouse when they blow it up. So this was the first prop I bought, a real prop. Um, then you have, uh, you remember this scene? Bond gets his uh, x-ray glasses on and uh, sees through the girls' dresses and look, it looks like these girls are uh, packed. They have weapons. And I also have The glasses here that Bond uses, or a copy of them, anyhow. The big lighter from The World Is Not Enough. Bond's signature weapon, the Walter P99. And here you also have a screen used prop. A 50 pound bill from the beginning of the movie where the money burns up and I also have a COA for this one from Eon Productions signed by the, the production manager. Diorama from the helicopter chase uh, on the docks with the being we BMW Z8, nice one, I think. And here you have uh, some interesting thing. Um, it's a Caspian pipeline project. It's a paper prop, as we call them. If you if you turn the pages, you see what it is. This is just a, a lot of maps. Um, it's a lot of numbers, it's 
it all has to do with the pipeline project. Someone had, has made this. Nice paper prop, I think. And here we also have a paper prop. This is the medical department from MI6. Bond, James, Chicken Intelligence Service, MI6. And here you can see uh, Bond's shoulder, his dislocated shoulder, the x-ray picture. And also you can see the report, Confidential Employees Medical Folder, uh, address, university exports, the doctor's name, Molly Warren Flash, also signed by Molly Warren Flash MD. And dislocated collar bone left work related now cleared for active duty and you know what happens in the movie he has to go to bed with her to get that clearance okay i have this ian baker of christmas jones from this movie and i have this robert coltrane signed picture and here is a copy of the check that Elektra gets in the movie. I also have some uh, casino chips. And here we have the BMW Z8 in, in um, the 118 scale. Well, it's not enough. nice and here on the floor we finish up on the floor we have some signed photos Denise Richards and uh, Robert Carlyle and Pierce Brosnan with the W with the BMW well that was all for this time I hope you enjoyed and uh, hope to see you next time don't forget to subscribe to like and to share see you this is Rickard from mi6 sweden signing off